Hi everyone, thanks for joining me. My name is Garrett and I'm a lead application engineer at Capture 3D. Today, I'm going to introduce you to the user interface of the GoMinspect free software. GoMinspect is a digital tool used in manufacturing to analyze and inspect measured data from 3D scanners, laser scanners, handheld devices, and even CT. This software is a very powerful package, so it's important to know where all the tools are to get the most out of it. If you're new to these videos, please subscribe to the channel. We'll be putting out a lot of videos with 3D measurement tips and features delivered by our engineering team. Now let's get to it. So when we first open up the software here, we've got these six different tiles on our screen. We've got new project, open up a blank project for us, open project opens up some saved projects for us. We've got the sample data, which is largely a directory of canned projects that you can save onto your computer. Uh, these are good for demonstration purposes. Project templates is a professional function, as can be seen here with the professional in parentheses, so we're not going to touch on those too terribly much. Recently used projects is projects you've used uh, frequently and recently. And then get started is a good access point for a lot of information for new and advanced users. It'll give you access to the GOM forum, uh, the GOM website, the training center, the four uh, frequently asked questions, knowledge base articles. So let's go ahead and jump into a blank project. Now, when we first open up our software after, or once we first open up our new project rather, let's go ahead and take a brief look around. The very top of our screen we have each of these drop down menus, file edit view, so on and so forth. This is a static toolbar. No matter what workspace you're in or what um, project you have opened up, uh, each of these functions are going to be available in the top and they are all going to have the same functions available in each of them. Directly below that, however, is the workspace toolbar, and these functions here are going to change depending on which workspace you're in. So in this case, we are in the inspection workspace, and we can access our workspace selection by clicking on this button top left with three horizontal bars. If we click on that, we've got our inspection, report, and mesh editing workspace available in our, or our free version of the software. You can also pin or unpin these workspaces to make it easier to access them. I'm going to leave mine pinned just so you guys can keep track of where I'm at in the software here. So directly to the right we have our explorer and our status bar. Now our status bar is going to tell us where we have errors in our software. So if you ever see this turn red, go ahead and click on that red and it's going to offer some suggestions on how to improve the project. Now currently we have no elements in our explorer. So let's go ahead and drag in an element real quick. In this case, I'm going to bring in the GOM block CAD model by opening up my folder and just dragging and dropping into the software. I'm going to click on new part. It's going to add it to a new part in our explorer over here. I'm going to say OK for my CAD parameters. So I now have my CAD model in the software. And we can see over here in our explorer, I have my CAD model. It brought in its local coordinate system. And then I have some associated tags with them. So you can see that as we start to bring in models, it starts to populate our explorer up here. So everything we build or bring into the software is going to be available in this explorer. Now directly below the explorer is the sub explorer. And this is sort of an organizational function of the explorer. So right now we have our relates to tab open. So everything that I click that's related to the CAD, we're going to be able to see down here in our sub explorer. All right. So Continuing on, in the bottom left here, we've got our viewing cube. So if we click on the axes of the arrows, we click on bits of the cube itself. We can sort of get a view of this part, sort of um, you know, move around this part. There's also some mouse functions that we can keep in mind. Our left mouse button rotates our middle wheel. If you click the middle wheel, you can pan, scroll, the middle wheel, zoom in or out, and then your right click is sort of a menu option. Okay. All right, so further along down the bottom of our software here, we've got this gray toolbar. We've got a lot of these functions that are in red, and these are 3D selection tools, so largely used when you're selecting mesh data. Um, but in this case, we can use them to grab some bits of CAD as well. 
And then along the right side of the screen, we have these double arrows that pop out. So if you bump your mouse over to the far right side of the screen, you pull this out, we've got our properties menu. And the properties menu tells you information about any of the models or any of the inspections that you have selected over in our Explorer over here. All right, so in this case, this is our nominal part. It's a CAD model it's made out of 209,000 points. So uh, just generally some good information in there. And there's some other functions in the software that you'll find useful in the properties menu as well. Now along the top right corner of our screen here, sort of a busy looking corner. Um, first, we've got our packages and we'll have some content dedicated to the packages. In our free version of the software, we're relatively limited. But when you move to the professional version of the software, there's a lot of manipulation you can do with the packages. Directed to the right of that is our direct help menu. And this is really great for finding out different functions in the software. So in this case, I can just find a surface comparison. And if I click on this, it'll bring up the direct help menu for the surface comparison. Now, alternatively, if you ever, oops, if you ever have a dialog box open and you find this question mark in the top right, if you click on that, it's gonna bring you to its associated direct help menu as well. So sort of two ways to get to the direct help menu. I highly recommend that you use that direct help menu if you're ever stuck on a function because it gives you some really good information on how to use it, when to use it, why to use it, things of that sort. So finishing up our tour in the top right here, we've got these three icons. We've got the get training, which will bring you to the GOM training center. We've got the GOM ID and license information. And if you want to use the, if you want to try the professional version of the software, you can click on this button and you can create a GOM ID and they'll give you a temporary license to try the professional version of the software. Highly recommend that if you're liking what you see with the, uh, the free version. Uh, the professional version has a couple of bigger features that make it a much more robust software. And then finally, we have this open GOM website function, which is gonna bring you to the GOM website. And again, that brings you sort of their training center, their support, um, a lot of good resources there. Okay, so now that we've sort of got a, the basics of what we can find here and the main screen, let's go ahead and flip to a different workspace and just see what it looks like when we move. So right now I'm in the inspection workspace. Let's go ahead and go down to the reporting workspace. Now, as you can see, the colored bar on the top changes and some of these functions in the top here have changed as well. These functions are all specific to the workspace you're in. And so the functions located in this toolbar are gonna be functions for the reporting workspace. Now we'll have some more content dedicated to creating a lot of report pages, uh, but this is our, just our basic report workspace. So again, we've got our Explorer. We've sort of got our Sub Explorer down here and this is how you can create report pages. Just kind of click and drag down here. And then finally, we also have our properties menu on the far right. So things largely stay the same when you move from workspace to workspace. And then finally, let's take a look at our mesh editing workspace. All right, so within this mesh editing workspace, once again, the colored bar on the top changes, some of these functions change, but largely the software is functionally very similar. So we've just finished taking a virtual tour of the GoInspect free software. With this introduction to the user interface, you should be able to create a new project, navigate through the different workspaces and understand what they do, and be able to manipulate your inspection elements. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to the channel to make sure you're notified of new content and tutorials from Capture 3D. Also, you can visit our website for more information on the technology, view case studies, or schedule a virtual demonstration with our team. Thanks for watching.